What's up, nerds? Welcome to the Feature Match area here at GP Liverpool. Now, my name's Ryan and I'm joined by the Hall of Famer, Raphael Levy. It's great to have your company as well, wherever you're joining us from around the world. We certainly are very happy to have you along. We're going to kick things off here with Laurie Pispa facing off against Toralf Severin. He's playing KCI. He's got. A, he's made a couple of uh, what uh, card choices I will diplomatically describe as interesting, and right, we may right. see them uh, have an influence on this matchup. But... Uh, <laughs> Oh well, shots have been fired, my friend. Shots have been fired. This uh, this will uh, this will live long in the memory. Have you ever played it? You know those Telltale games. The what? Telltale, Telltale games, where you know the, it was that studio and they made like the the sort of the the point click adventure games. And when you d made a choice that uh, that disappointed someone or they didn't like it, up in the top left corner it would it would flash. They'll remember you said that. Oh, no. I'd my retribution will be that. will be swift and terrible. Tore off. Don't don't you uh, don't you. Don't you doubt it, my friend. Yeah, anyway, what, what would you do that when you're the, you're on the commentary? Like you're the you're the you're the voice. I know. I'm supposed to be the one with all the power here. I'm supposed to be the one who can throw you know throw shade from the from the lost, lost loftiest of heights. Yeah, at the end of the match, not the beginning. Just been doubled down. Just been completely doubled down here. He, he heard about the daggers you bought. Yeah, he knew. He knows. Yeah. He came with. He, he went and got a. He upgraded his armor. All right, so we see an Arclight Phoenix being discarded to a Faithless Looting turn two for Piss, but that's good. He's already got some pressure on the board as well in Monastery Swift Spear, and that's what you've got to do, Rap. You've got to pressure KCI early, try to get him uh, before they can, you know, establish these, uh, this unbreakable lock. So with the Swift Spear in play and the second attack, that's going to be for at least two. Probably not more because I don't think Lori wants to... Uh, spend another spell here mm, mm. he yeah. wants to be able to uh, bring back the phoenix next turn so he's going to sandbag those instants and sorceries maybe play with tap land here as yeah. we see yes indeed a steam vents the new art of guilds of ravnica of course uh, pro <laughs> provoked a couple of observations that it, pr it uh, contains neither steam nor vents mox opal for severin here nice way for him to accelerate he's got a second mox opal in hand as well and just cycling through the the deck with Stars and Spheres and Terrarians right now. Laurie Severin. Severin is missing a Mana Morphos here. Or a, another Faceless Looting to be able to uh, cast three spells in the, in the same turn. If he finds a Faceless Looting, he's going to be in, in business though. He's got two copies of Fiery Temper in hand here. That's going to unload a whole heap of damage. Although he doesn't have the third land, so he won't oh, be able so to he, play yeah, the, be able to do that. All right, never mind. the the second fear temper. Never mind. What's his hand looking like? Bolt, bolt. Or is it is just it, a single it, bolt? I think it's bolt, uh, lightning axe, and double fear temper. Double fire temper. That's a lot of damage. It's hard to cast. Fear yeah. temper is not, it's not that easy to cast. No, that's that. true. It's true. But back in the days, you could go faceless looting, mm. uh, draw two cards, discard fairy temper, play mountain, and then cast your fairy temper up the mountain. Yeah. But that's that's long gone. This long this, gone. this this ruling does not that doesn't work like that way anymore. Now you have to. Uh, they because they discard it into exile and you cast it straight away. Yeah, yeah. Here's Serum Visions. Let's see if uh, if Pisca, Pispa can find what he uh, needs here to stitch together three spells. I think the first card was a land that could work. Yep, an island. Uh, ooh, that, okay, that wouldn't work. That's a bit of a stinker. Although he cannot cast the uh, the lightning axe. Because if he does, he kills the Sioux Spear. And here we see Severin, you know, I mean, he's no stranger to success at a GP, somehow. Because as you can see, he's just very bad at this game. He didn't even play a second land. Yeah, it's not great. It's, I mean, what a bad play. I think, I think it, it's has to, it has to a lot to do with the, the way he started the game with this paper and this... Yeah, exactly. The, the message. Laser-guided karma. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And he deserves, he deserves, he deserves every bit of it. So Laurie's setting up the, the next turn, bring back the, the Phoenix. Yeah, he's having a good old think about it here. I, I didn't get a good look at the two cards that were that were off the top there. Did you did you get a, a sneaky no. peek at them? No. So he's really tanking here about this uh, about this scry too. To me, this is the, the biggest question of the tournament. How good I'm is this? And Severin just realized you forgot to play a second land. Oh, damn. Damn. This is the biggest talk of the, this tournament. How yep. good is this is it Fennec, Phoenix deck? Mm. We haven't seen it before. It wasn't really around in the last GPs. No. Not at the GP level, we haven't seen it. No. And uh, it's been around Magic Online, but we don't... I wouldn't be able to tell you what it does. I mean, I know what it does, but mm. against 
of the metagame. Yeah, exactly. Its position in, in yeah. the modern metagame is, is yet to be fully determined. So, civilizations rise and fall, ladies and gentlemen. Glaciers grind their way across the landscape. And finally, Laurie Pisper finishes scrying. In for two with the Monastery Swift Spear. Back to Severin now. He does need a second land if he's going to want to continue to uh, fight this fight. I don't think he found it just now. No, a Mind Stone. A lot of chat going on at the table. Sounds like the Finns are in a... Well, they're a friendly bunch. And Huschenbet, Grimmer and Severin as well. Very friendly chaps. Uh, explosives, explosives to uh, zero here. To get Metalcraft. Mm -hmm. And a Mind so Stone. So can use the... Chrome Mox. Mox Opal powering out the uh, the Mindstone, which then, of course, enabled the Chromatic Star to be played. So with only one land, Severin's still doing a good job of keeping his snoot above water. A difficult feat for one such as him. Back to Pisper now, who is playing at a... Uh, he's two points short of winning this game. At this point. He can't... Uh, Double oh Phoenix no, in the mid. Oh no, never mind. No, he's a, lo a, lo a lot more because okay. he doesn't. He can't. He can't cast the Fear Temper. He doesn't have uh, Madness Outlet. So he's not even. He's not winning this game now. No. He's not even. Wi I don't even think he's winning this game next turn. What does he need? Like a Faithless Looting? He needs a Looting. Mm. Uh, does he have one in the graveyard? Yes, one in the mid. Yes. So he yeah. can start with this. Mm -hmm. Maybe he draws. Uh, what can he draw? I think a land. Yeah, land would be good. Mm -hmm. So he would loot, discard Fury Temper. Fiery Temper. Fiery Temper, sorry. Uh, play land, bolt. There would be six mm -hmm. from the, the burn spells, plus two from the prowess. Eight, plus one from the Swiss Spear. Mm -hmm. Nine. And then six from the, uh, the Phoenixes. Oh, and if there's a land, if there's a mountain, yeah. he can bolt. Oh, that would be that would be game. Well, no, a, a faithless looting and then discarding two fiery tempers and casting them is also three spells. No, but he doesn't have the the fifth land. No, but if he draws, okay. If next turn, oh, that's this turn, this turn. Okay, but okay, sure. All right, all right, all right. Now I was thinking about this turn. Okay, my math were actually wrong in the, in the yeah. first place. So, somewhat slow pace of play here in this match. Well, it might actually be exactly lethal if he draws a mountain. All right, let's see. So, hasn't played a land this turn, of course, as we said. And after Pispa has finished fetching with that Scalding Tarn. Looks like we're just going to go for the attack here with the Swift Spear. So, not going for it this turn here, Raph. Severin takes one, down to 14. Three cards in hand here for the German. Has he played a land this turn? He, he has not played a land this turn. Is it just going to be a hard cast fiery temper perhaps for Pispa? Nope. Just going to take one. Severin on 14. Yeah, I think yeah, if, you play, if you played looting, this guy fiery temper, draws a, draws, a, draws a mountain, yeah. he can bolt, yep. bring the arc like Phoenix. I think it's exactly 15. Well, that ship has left port undamaged. Just one, one damage on it. A little nick on the, on the, on the hull. They, they cleaned it up real nice. Back to Severin now, who still doesn't have that... Oh, there is the... Sorry, finally. There is that, uh, that land here. Krakland Ironworks in hand, in addition to what looks like a mirror retriever as well. So lucky. How, is, how can one man be so lucky and just have all these cards? Looks like Rupert Metzer has already got up with his black-green rock deck against Grimmer on... Uh, Green, white, or perhaps Absan Company, actually. So, Mox Opal floats a mana. Second Mox Opal now for Severin. And is his luck going to turn this game around? Here's four mana, and it's Kraklan Ironworks. Is that going to be enough here, Raf? It could be. It was actually 13. I'm sorry. I it took me a while to figure it Look, out. Numbers are very hard. It, it took me a while to figure it out, especially when you talk at the same time. No. I like you, but, you know. Well, what, what, what do you want me to do? Just sit here <laughs> while you work it out with, a, with an abacus nah, and a pen I and paper? Know. I'm just telling why. This, that, that was, that, that's why he took so long to uh, think about his turn. <laughs> I, was, I was doing his... I was just a little, little lagged. All right. All right. Little, little bit of the, the ping on, on your brain server isn't, yeah, isn't exactly. great. 
All right, I so... Got, I got disconnected a little bit. Down Severin down now. Activating his uh, Crackline Ironworks. Floating a bunch of mana. Drawing cards, uh, thanks to Mindstone as well now. Does he have ways to actually draw cards? So... He has a oh, mirror... Mirror Retriever. Yep. yep. It's looking good. It's looking good. All the luck in the world. I'll tell you what. Severin known for it, of course. The man who never mulligans. He's known as... And now he's piecing together the uh, this puzzle here and see if he can actually get himself over the line this time. Here's the Mirror Retriever down to one mana in pool. So does he need a Scrap Trawler to win? Mm -hmm. Because the Mox Opal is there, yes. Yeah. Is that the only piece he's missing? Yep. There's also other... Would another Mirror Retriever work as well? I, I Maybe. I, I'll say yes because I think there's a higher chance that the answer is yes than no, but I don't know <laughs> for sure. So Severin ends his turn, or goes to do so anyway, and now we see a fiery temper going upstairs. Three mana lightning bolt, putting Severin down to 11. So unfortunately he couldn't get across the line this time. Let's see if Laurie Pisper can get it done. Here's a Pyromaster Ascension. That does basically nothing here. Well, it gets discarded to Lightning Axe. That's actually pretty good. Draw a bad card. Nice. Lightning Axe. Discarding Fiery Temp is much better, though. So that's two spells. And now the third Lightning Bolt in hand. Yep. Oh, so unlucky. Severin can't believe it. He's sitting there going, how, how does this happen? How does this happen to me? But game number one is in the books, and it's gone the way of Laurie Pisper, the Finnish superstar. Certainly finished off that game in style. Although, uh, Raf, not quite. I mean, a lot of numbers to be crunched there. Could have done a lot of damage the turn before. 13 damage, you said, but uh, wasn't able to get across the line. I have to say it's very challenging to uh, comment on this game. On one side, you have a lot of mass to uh, to actually yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> like with all the bolts, the prowess triggers. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, you have KCI with also a bunch of math. Just mono, mono game actions. Yeah. Yep. So we actually need two more people in the booth to, we need, yeah. <laughs> to, <laughs> we need a little, little to make sure we have it right oh, and look at this here's Jasper Grimmer now with his uh, collected company deck of course uh, not 100% sure if he's playing Abzan or just green white but Noble Hyrax getting in for one no matter what and Ametza already has picked up a game against Grimmer here as you can see with black green rock Devoted Druid, a key piece of the puzzle here for the Collected Company deck. That's the newest printing, of course, from Ultimate Masters. It's the older printing from Lawn just on you on the battlefield there. These decks are... Uh, oh, I think Jasper was playing uh, was playing that deck, uh, the last modern GP. Yes, with Eldritch Evolution. Oh, yeah, and that's uh, right. was he playing Postmodern Lunge? Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, I think that's the case. So now we see a uh, Collective Brutality discarding... Bob Ma, the Dark Confident, to remove the uh, Devoted Druid there and also chip away at some life, perhaps? It didn't look like Duress Mode had been activated. Am I incorrect about that? I'm not sure. He's a Walking Ballista see, yeah, in any yeah, case. Yeah, he, show, he showed his hand. Oh, he did. Okay, he just did, didn't have any... Uh, oh, no, the Court of Calling. Sorry. Excuse me. That all happening at a lightning pace. Very brisk pace here for this game rather than the other one. One of the uh, one of the key features of uh, Arena Boys, the popular new Channel Fireball Arena content that you can uh, you can access now. Channel Fireball. The, the, be the best, <laughs> the best one in town. <laughs> the best one in town. <laughs> it's the best dumb video series on Arena in town. Um, the uh, one of the one of the key features of that is uh, me asking Toffel and you mean what they think, what I think, what they think the plan is, or what what the play is on this turn. Me getting bored very quickly and just making a play by kind of flipping a coin. Uh, Severin certainly takes his time in, in playing games of Magic uh, and making those decisions, especially, you know, when there are numbers to crunch. And uh, I find they're very dull. So just, just, just slam them and jam them. And, you know, generally, generally, you can't get too wrong. Yeah, that makes sense. Tamagoyf now, followed up by a fatal push on the Walking Ballista. That's going to send two damage upstairs. Mets are knocked down to 12 now. Pumping Tamagoyf as well. Yeah. Now there's an artifact in the graveyard. Mm-hmm. And another uh, brutality. Let's see what he wants to do here. Grim Grimmer has had many pieces of the combo all assembled, but not not enough of them at the same time. Needs that uh, needs that, oh, wow. that uh, vizier here. That's that's a bolt move here, because now uh, 
div, uh, a, vizier. A, vizier, a vizier would actually win the game. A vizier just wins the game on yeah. the spot. It's Birds of Paradise off the top now. That's not a vizier. A vizier of remedies effectively just, um, well, in this case, yeah, because of the uh, because the dust watch recruiter is already out, immediately wins the game. Liliana, yes. the last hope, knocked down to size here, thanks to uh, that uh, two-two. It's interesting that uh, Rope did uh, kill the the ballista mm -hmm. and not any piece of the combo. Uh, the, a druid or uh, the recruiter. Tylos tracker here. Well, the thing is, if if Grimmer puts the puts together the the combo with a um, with a, a ballista on on the battlefield, he just wins the game on the spot. It's true, but if he kills the druid, then there's never any combo. That's that's yeah, it's true. I mean, there's only one walking ballista in the list, whereas there's no. But I mean, if, druids. if if they have infinite mana and all the cards in their yeah, hand, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think you're right. Ultimately, I think you're right. Shall I at the top now for Grimmer here? Also enables the uh, the recruiting to happen. Yeah. The recruitment. Recruitment. Recruitation. The rec the recruitation of various creatures. Yes, indeed, you're right. So Grimmer now, given pause to uh, given reason to pause and have a think about things. It seems. I'm curious to see what his next move is going to be here. Yeah, it's a, I think it's a tough match for uh, for company here. So many removal mm -hmm. and ways to interact with your hand. So you can't really play with a company with a court of calling and company unless you have to draw it after the discard after they play the discard yeah. spell. Yeah. yeah, they've got so many ways to knock out your key spells, yep. disrupt that combo. It, it, it's a tough matchup for sure. It's it's it has two weaknesses to the rock decks where it's both a creature deck and a combo deck. So it's so both hand disruption and removal is good against it. One well, look at this damnation hand. Wow. So a trade Just now the between the Hanweir Recruiter and the uh, and the Tylos Tracker. And Liliana is going to Duskwatch Recruiter. Excuse me, I'm thinking of Hanweir Militia. What's Liliana up to this time? Kill that noble hierarch. Kill the hierarch, yeah. Jeez, it's just three creatures. She's just mowed down mercilessly. She's hungry, She's a hungry lady. She said some chicken. Following it up with, well, actually, it's getting really dark. I think we'll, I think we'll, we'll get off the train at this station here. Actually, <laughs> three mana, and it's going to be a Maelstrom Pulse. Oh, for the win! On the old, on, 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 her, on, on the on Liliana. Liliana. Yeah. So, oh my goodness! So Tarmogoth would be six power. That's insane. Next level plays here with Rupert Metzer realizing that the final creature type needed for Liliana, the last hope, was Planeswalker. Pump up the Tarmogoth to a six-seven. Get in for lethal. Grimmer. I mean, he did his best. He really did, but just couldn't find what he needed to, uh, you know, to put together that combo. And again, the disruption of the of the of the rock deck was just too much. Back over to our original table now. Laurie Pispa and Toralf Severin. Looks like Huschenbeth the only one on the board here for the Germans. It feels like Rock was also a deck, is a deck from uh, from another time as yeah. well. Yeah. When most of the decks looked like company, like yeah. they had creatures, they had like birthing pod decks. Yeah. 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 And so, Pispa. Plays a thing in the ice after fetching away with a scalding tarn. Back to Severin, who has a much better uh, start here by the look of things. Scrap trawler in hand. Here's a an equal wellspring as well here for him. And I think we're going to see first up this chromatic star sacrificed. Severin, he loves his numbers. He's going to be crunching and munching them all day. Now look at this, we actually have the lists. Oh, excellent. So let's see what we have in the sideboard in the EZ Phoenix. Mm -hmm. A couple of the braids are going to be good there. A braid? Yeah. Yeah. Surgical extraction. Also nice. Uh, Raven strap. Flame slash to remove the uh, thing in the ice there. A nice one from Severin. Go on, sorry. Uh, Ceremonious rejection. That's that's a lot of very yeah. targeted cards against uh, targeted cards against uh, artifact decks. I think it's a really good choice. Uh, I spoke to Eduardo Sajgalik about this, the champion of GP Warsaw, and he was saying that artifact cards, uh, artifact hate cards, gain so much value in these team tournaments because you're almost guaranteed to be having have at least yeah. one ancient stirrings deck, each at least one artifact deck 
in the lineup. So 33% of the time, they'll work every time. So it's 300%, right? It's 10 times... No. Yeah. 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 So you're guaranteed. You're guaranteed to be bringing an ancient grudge. It's great. So Severin dumps his hand onto the battlefield. Back to Pispa now, who fetches again now. Polluted Delta finding a steam vents. Plays the thing in the ice and follows that up immediately with a serum visions. Chip away at some of the ice here. Awoken Horror not at its best in this matchup. The huge tempo swing of bouncing a, you know, an opponent's board is, is not... Uh, really an option here for against KCI I could see it being relevant on a turn where uh, where uh, Thorolf is at 7 mm -hmm. and he has retrievers yeah. and scrap trawlers yeah. to block that's unlikely but, but it's that's not that I'm sure over 100 games it will happen that sure, bouncing the it, blockers is it, relevant. It's not the huge tempo swing that it would be against something like a you know a humans a or, humans or, or spirit. spirits or exactly KCI, the play now for Severin, right. immediately starts to uh, draw mana and gain cards. Yeah, buckle up. Because I think, I think this one, uh, he's, he's close to having it. Equal Wellspring gives him a good chance at it. Uh, Mindstone can also be sacrificed or to draw a card. And, and, and with the Scrap Trawler well. in, in hand, yeah. just needs the Mirror Retriever. And this one uh, should be uh, more or less Dunsky here. So Severin once again thinking about exactly what he wants to do here. Or maybe he's thinking about his dinner. I think e both of those are equally likely. Sigh. Here's Sai, Master Thopterist. All right. Great post-board inclusion. And a Scrap Trawler now as well. So this does increase the value of the Awoken Horror quite significantly here, Raf. Of the what, sorry? Of the Awoken Horror. Uh, this Sai. A little bit. In case... Uh, uh, Thorolf just floods the board with Thopters, yeah. but it's very unlikely that he passes the turn. Yeah. So, in, the it, in theory, if, yes. But if he fizzles, what I'm saying here, is, which is unlikely, but if he does, then that Psy is less good than it, than it ordinarily would be here. His Psy is, yeah, I, I agree. But Psy is mostly part of the combo here. Oh, sure. It, to make uh, Thopters to sacrifice yeah. for mana. It's like every artifact you play... Gives you two extra mana. Yeah. Yeah. So now he's just going through the motions because I don't think there's a... It, it does seem like the... the I mean, at this stage, we're well into the 90 sort of percent of, uh, of, of how, th how well things are going here. So this is the so million. <laughs> six Thopters remaining. <laughs> so that's 12 mana available uh, in the form of Thopters in addition to the six that's already in the pool. So five Thopters here. They're figuring that out exactly there. Torol Severin, a man who finds it difficult to count beyond three. Although he has been working hard at it. He's up to about two and a half at this stage. Chromatic Sphere now. Rolling around that D12. We've seen to do that since we used to play D&D &D together back in Berlin. Mox Opal. Sacrificed. Brought back. It's very. Uh, are you are you, are you are you colorblind? I'm colorblind. Yeah, so yeah it's perfect. Do you, do you so know what, you know so what color did the, 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 the I presume it's green. It's green. Yeah, it's green. Yeah, yeah. Presents a uh, green mana. Yep, floating green mana with a green die. Perfect. Perfect. So and basically, now? any. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's really having a hard time with that D12. <laughs> any artifact that costs two. Actually, gives you two mana. Yeah. And brings back an artifact from your graveyard with the lesser casting cost. So a star. Dark Steel Citadel in hand, unlikely to be relevant here for Severin, who is, again, looping through this uh, rather convoluted combo here. Chromatic Star. Gain some mana. Draw another card. Bring back Mox Opal. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, there we go. Neil Rigby to the rescue now, so we can uh, properly notate... Uh, the mana that's in each of the pools there. One green and two blues, says Sover uh, Sovereign. Toralf Sovereign. And Pispa really wanted uh, one, one of his uh, <coughs> black instants. Surgery extraction yeah. or uh, 
Ravenous Tread. Ravenous but at Tread. this point, I don't think they would do anything. It's still a little too late. We're a little too late. We're a little too. We're a little too deep into this particular yeah. uh, muck heap. Yep. <coughs> so Severin, oh my goodness, he just does. He has. He has no proficiency with d12s. You seen him spin it, spin him around. Look at the, look at him go. Oh, that one was that was a bit better. That was a bit better. So Ico Wellspring is going to continue to fuel out more cards. He's Terrarian as well to just keep the cards coming. And uh, for those of you who are new uh, to Magic, maybe new to Magic coverage as well, maybe picked up Arena, you're joining us for the first time. Welcome, by all means, welcome. If you've got no idea what's going on on your screen, that's okay. Don't worry because basically no one else does either. We kind of do, but we are kind of lost in the in the mix of this. Ad. We're not lost. We know exactly what's going on. I don't think this deck should be called KCI. It should be what? I think it should be ENC, Emperor's New Clothes. It's one of those decks. Uh, you know what? This is my theory. On uh, just just uh, tell me what you think of this. This is my theory on KCI. All right. No one actually understands how it works. No one. <laughs> Not even Matt Nass. Matt Nass is the emperor. The architect, the, the the architect of this of this whole archetype, Matt Nass, is the emperor here. Ma emperor Matthew, right? The first of his name, and he made this deck, went to a GP, sat down from his opponent, and started doing all these things, sacrificing artifacts, doing this, that, the other, right? And was just like, yes, yeah, so I'm going to do this and win. And his opponent is there, like, I mean, it's Matt Nass. I'm not going to argue with him. He knows what he's talking about. He's clearly he's clear the master of the game. And so in, in order not to look stupid, he's like, yeah, good game, and extends the hand, right? And Matt Nass, I can't believe I got away with that, right? That's for 14 rounds. He goes through, wins the GP, because every single time the opponent's like, oh, I don't want to... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that seems right. That seems right, you know. Th that, that's fine. And now it's this powerhouse of the modern format. It's crushing, uh, it's crushing people left, right, and center. And there's no kid standing at the side of the parade while the emperor's walking down there with his bare bum winking at the crowd, right, <laughs> saying... This isn't a real deck. This isn't a real thing. No one actually understands how it works. And for that reason, KCI is just the Emperor's new clothes in modern. Well, lucky us, we have another KCI. We can move over now to KCI. <laughs> we've, got, uh, we've got a different Emperor now. It's now Emperor Matty Quizma. And look, doesn't he look fine in, those, uh, in, that, in that brand new outfit? Who? Thorold? No, no, Quizma. In the Emperor's new clothes that he's wearing. Oh. Wow, well, you've sorry. we've already moved away yeah, from you, the established you lost, fiction. You, <laughs> you lost me long ago on that one. <laughs> he just tuned out. You're like, I'll wait for him to stop talking and then eventually come back to the game that we're watching here. But until then, yeah, just enjoy yourself. All right. Quizma doesn't seem to have uh, quite the uh, the draw that uh, Severin had there. He, he's lacking a, a, a number of the key pieces here, Raf. Well, he got his uh, actual KCI, Crack on Ironworks. Countered by uh, the stainful stroke. Mm -hmm. Stainful stroke, yeah. Which? That one, that that the stainful okay. stroke. Okay, all right, all right, all right. And two thing in the ice now for Hushenbet here. Playing with snow covered islands as well. By that bot did the news. Didn't understand that. That's the, the stainful stroke. What is it? Bot did the news. Bot did the news. Yeah. One more time. Bot did the news. Bot did the news. Yeah. Sounds like a uh, sounds like an, an expensive entree at a French restaurant. And for today, we have the delicious butte de news uh, served à la carte with the uh, with the peche chevel and, and the conchon grain. Thing in the ice ticks down thanks to the Snapcaster Mage flashing back an opt here. So Arn deciding to uh, to go to try to flip his things in the. He things He's things in the in ice. the ice to put some pressure yeah. on uh, Quizma. Yeah, yeah. He could have decided to keep his uh, Snapcaster Mage to uh, counter whatever uh, Matthew would be playing, mm -hmm. like to counter uh, another uh, Ironwork or a uh, Scrap Trawler because he has a uh, ceremonious rejection. Rejection in the graveyard. What's that one in French? Rejection ceremonious. I think it's, it's probably just it's that. Very, I'm very, very close. I bet I'm close yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Ica Wellspring the play now for Quizma. And finds the KCI. Doesn't have the mana to cast at this turn, however, so Hana Hushenbet is going to open up the freezer once again. 
start chipping away at the ice. He left it open overnight slightly, and so it's frozen up, and all the peas and the you know the the, the frozen vegetables that you never eat but still have to have in your freezer. But it doesn't matter. He if he's in F- Finland. Like you can keep. He just leaves it outside. Free, uh, yeah. You can keep his freezer open. Yeah, 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 yeah thing in the ice is still gonna be frozen. That's it. It doesn't matter. And I think uh, Kuzma will be hoping that uh, yes, he can channel the Finnish winter to keep those things well and truly in the ice. Kuzmbet, however, hoping for a uh, a warm change here. Double KCI in hand for and Kuzma. Scrap trawler. And scrap trawler. So can he get? This critical four-drop artifact online. Does Hushenbet have an answer? And we saw that he, uh, he played the Snapcaster Mage. Well, but now, oh, a one. ceremonious rejection is huge here. Buying himself another turn, chipping away at more of that ice here. He needs two spells here. Could be Opt, could be uh, Snapcaster Mage into Opt. Ooh. Uh, serum Visions. Serum Visions into, serum visions. into any spell. No, 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 no. No, he doesn't, he doesn't need it. Oh no! He, oh yeah, because he has the snapcaster, and mage. it bounces the snapcaster mage. So awoken horror. No, but that's not that's not enough. So if he though. can find a lightning bolt or something like lightning that, he's going to win the game on the spot. Here's awoken horror number one. Draw a card. Scry two, and a braid, and a spell pierce off the top there for Hushenbet. If he finds a bolt, he wins on the spot. But now he has a snapcaster mage to counter whatever match he's next. Yeah, I, I don't think he can. I don't think he should try to win this uh, this turn. It'd be very greedy, I think. To win this turn? Yeah. I mean, it's possible. How many lands does he have? Because if he plays... Does he have another shot at Serum Visions? Oh, right. He can play Snapcaster Mage, Serum Visions. Yeah. And then flip the other horror. Pick up the Snapcaster Mage again. Yeah. No, not going to go for it here. Not going to go for it. I like this. A more conservative line here for uh, Bet. He knows that he is not losing next turn, assuming that Kuzma, you know does what we think he's going to do, which is just try to get this uh, KCI into play, but it's not going to, it's not going to no, work here. No, but it's... He has a rejection ceremonious. He has stroke disdainful. And access to another Snapcaster Mage as well. Because so, he, he's going to play Snapcaster Mage and yep. flip a thing in the ice. And then the he turn. just picks it straight back up. It's like a cryptic yep. bounce here on Snapcaster. Here is the disdainful stroke served on a bed of... I've run out of French words. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh hello, a swan song now from Matty now, Kuzma. Now that was that was a, a huge draw. So Swan Song is going to counter the disdainful stroke, but that of course flips the uh, the awoken horror, brings back the Snapcaster Mage to Hush and Bet's hand. Oh, what? Was the logic not in his hand? What? And a logic knot as well. <laughs> Look at this. An unbelievable turnaround here for Arno Hushenbet. He just had it all sandbagging that to the very last moment. A thrilling victory here. Is it Thing getting it done against Matty Quizma? The Emperor, unfortunately, is uh, hoisted off his throne. And now it all comes down to Laurie Pispa and Torolf Severin. I think he's going to regret his uh, initial note to you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because now... Well, we will see. We will see exactly how uh, fortune favours this young man. Yeah, that was a great draw. The As we move back. Logic not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just getting it done there at the end. And, and, and that was the reason I liked that Hush and Bet playing yeah. nice and conservatively, a, a, even able to beat out a counter spell. That, yeah, w- that was good. huge. So back over to Severin and Pispa now. Pispa also, look at this, uh, braving the cold here with two things in the ice. Hasn't, uh, has had a pretty slow draw by the look of things, however, as he hasn't played a third land and hasn't been able to chip away any of this ice just yet. And Psymaster Thopterus is a nice uh, uh, card to, to put some pressure on Pispa, as well as, of course, helping this combo once it comes online. So, it's Severin. It's really not something we should put our finger on, but I like the light, the, the light on this thing in the ice. Oh, yeah. It's, just, it's, it's melting. Yeah, slowly, slowly but it's, surely, it's it's, 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 it's gonna melting. Be melting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Under the under the the, <laughs> the raging glare of the Liverpudlian sun. So Quizma finds that third land. What can he do with it? Is my question here. I like surgical extraction in that deck. The free spell yep. to make the phoenix mm. chip away the ice as well. Yep. yep. Especially, come back. especially against a, a deck like KCI. Oi, oi. There's also there's another card, the sideboard card for. Uh, that cost zero. Yeah. That you can play for free, or that they can play for free with Firkin Mana. That hasn't been played that much. That's that I've rediscovered yesterday. Yeah. What's that? Uh, you know, you had 
probe, but you get accent probe, but it's yeah. not right. Uh -huh. It's not. It's not. It's banned. It's, not, it's banned. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. You have surgical extraction, black. Yeah. In green, you have corrosive gale. Oh, the the one that uh, destroys creatures with flying, or that does the damage to creatures with flying. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you just cast it for zero. Yeah. Yeah, you pay two life, and cast it, <laughs> so it does zero damage to creatures with flying. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. It's good against spirits. That's true. It's great against spirits. Great against spirits. All right. And if not, if you don't, if there's no creatures on the uh, on the board. You can just play it for zero. Maybe that's the newest piece of technology. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Wired <laughs> magazine ran an article about the, uh, the the bleeding edge of modern technology. That it's could be like it. a, st uh, a street wraith, but you don't draw a card. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a card! Just lose two. Just lose two. Discard yeah. the card. Pay two, discard a card. Yeah, great. Uh, oh, it doesn't doesn't trigger your hollow ones or your. Uh, oh yeah, you don't even. It's yeah, not even. Yeah, you don't even discard it. Yeah. it. yeah. Well, it's actually better. Otherwise, it wouldn't trigger your things in the eyes. That's true. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't get the the thing in the eyes hollow one. Uh, hybrid yet so Severin now Flame Slash once again a, a great piece of interaction a really heads up uh, inclusion here from Severin for toughness uh, you know, for, for damage a, a really critical number here because of the uh, preponderance of Lightning Bolt in this format lots of people are very ready to, to defend uh, their turf with four toughness creatures and Flame Slash just makes an absolute meal of them so What's on the menu next for Chef Toralf? Cooking with Toffle. Next up, it's a Mindstone. It's not very tasty. No, I wouldn't want to sink my teeth into that one. I don't think I don't think Toffle's a very good cook. Yeah, I I, I don't know. I don't think it. I mean, I know I've I've known him for years, and we I don't think we've ever. I think the extent of like the meals that we've had together is is like oven cooked chicken nuggets and frozen pizzas. So. I mean, you get to know how to. Just a little, did you? A little more daggers. Top shelf BM. So Severin's taking it from all angles here. I'm all over him. Pispa's was also getting stuck in. I love it. I love to see this and double surgical extraction here for yeah. Pispa. That one damage may be very relevant. Because of There's course, Pispa has to cast the uh, he has to cast the surgical extraction for two for no. two uh, for two life. Unless unless metamorphose. Yeah, he just drew one. Okay, all right. So oh, yep, make two black. Yep. Cast them both. All right. Okay. All right. I made a fool of myself immediately. Opening my mouth to change feet here. Nah, you knew, but that was just like. Yeah, what I was doing there. So this is something that that uh, I, I quite often do is is pretend not to know. You know, pretend to be aware of all these these high level interactions to make me look to good. make you look That's good. Yeah, nice. yeah, it's not that I miss them or have no aware of them, or, you know, have no awareness of them or anything like that. That's the furthest thing from the truth. If anything, you know, I'm I'm helping you realize that they're there. Really, it's very nice. Oh, very mate, nice I'm I'm a generous soul, I'm generous of spirit. So Severin on the beatdown plan now with these Thopterinos getting it done here. Wow, that was slammed into play like I was an eight drop. Settle down. Settle down, Toffle. And a Dark Steel Citadel to follow it up as well. Doesn't count as a uh, as a, an artifact there for Psy, of course, because it's not cast. It's Lori who will have to uh, pull the trigger to actually do something because he's under the the pressure of the of the Thopters. He's on twelve, so he has to. Uh, Chip the the ice from the thing in the ice. So it sounds like he floated a green here, so it doesn't look like it's going to be a uh, a green. Yeah, that's what he said. That's what I heard. Draws a card, lightning bolt off the top there. Maybe he's just trying to play some mind games, trying to get on that next level. Are you sure it's green? That's what I heard, dude. I heard him say green. Or maybe he's saying, "Do you agree to this spell being cast?" I don't know. I would say black in German. You say the green. Schwarz. Oh, it's not close. I don't know it is in Finnish. Maybe that's it in Finnish. Finnish? Do you know the language Finnish is just completely unrelated to just every other language, basically? Please. Of course I do. Oh, you know that, of course. Of course. Yeah. 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 I, think, I think it's closest relation to something like Hungarian or something it is. ridiculous. Yeah. It is. It's, it's very far from Hungarian, but... But even then, like, that's how far away it is from yeah. other languages. Yeah, right. You put them... Of course, but hang on, hang on. This is all... We're all sort of pretending that Finland actually exists here. Yeah. You know? Have you heard this conspiracy theory yeah. that Finland doesn't exist? Yeah. <laughs> Same as Australia. I'm a paid actor, apparently. You're a Finnish actor. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a paid actor from Finland, paid by NASA to make you think that the world is round. 
And you know what? They did such a good job of, of telling me my backstory and all that sort of stuff that I actually don't remember my original character, like whoever I was as a real person. I can only remember ever being this character. They did such a good job. I got men in blacked. <laughs> Second thing in the ice now for Laurie Pisma. So the Manamorphose was just used to... Uh, Your face was unforgettable. <laughs> was just used to... Uh, Take, uh, to uh, get rid of one counter on the thing in the ice. And draw a card, yeah. Just, card. just cycled away. Yep. I guess Pisper deciding there are better times, better opportunities for him to fire off those surgical extractions here. Yeah, he wants to hit either uh, an Ironworks mm -hmm. or a Scrap Trawler. Yeah, yeah, two of the key cards. He might be able to even hit both here if things, uh, if things fall his way. Severin will be across this. He doesn't miss a trick. Sharper size in the west here. His hand doesn't look too good. Grove of the Burn Willow has two other cards in it as well. And what's the next play here for the German? I think Laurie does not want to use his, uh, his surgical extractions just to, uh, to uh, flip the thing in the ice. He wants to keep them for a very key moment. Yeah, he wants to get that value. he's going to close the game like this. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to draw a card now with uh, Psy Master Thopterist and also with that Chromatic Star. Nice little interaction there, so... So he gets the, he gets the blue mana. Yep. To Ooh. draw a card and then sacrifice. He didn't sacrifice the the chromatic star two side just just to make thing, things clear. He didn't sacrifice it twice. No. Now for for the newer players. Yes. Watching the stream. <laughs> for the new players watching this you stream. You can't sacrifice one. I'm so twice. sorry. I'm so sorry. That's all I can say. For the new players watching this streams, KCI. It's one of the most complicated decks in Magic. Don't expect to understand it, uh, you know, the first time you watch it. I mean, it's one of those things that you lay it out and you look at it and you go, I don't understand how they win. But that's, that's also what, what you're looking for in a card game. I think it's, it's very oh, important, yeah. important that it exists. Speaks to the depth of, uh, yeah. of possibility within this wonderful game. And if you are new to Magic, if this is your first time joining us, uh, you know, for, for a coverage event, you are more than welcome. It is fantastic to have you along. But uh, again, a bit of a baptism of fire, this one, I'm sure. We do hope you stick with us, however, especially for next week, where Stan will be put on display at the World Magic Cup. Severin with a nice full grip here. Gets in for three. And Pisper's going to take it. Goes down to seven. Thor has to be careful, too, because 21 is just three attacks from the... Awoken. Yeah. Or yeah. And with two of them out as well, that life total could be very quickly... It's a, Undone. it's a two turn clock as soon as they they flip. I mean, Pisper can flip them whenever he likes, effectively, at the cost of four life, with those two surgicals in hand. Now, as far as I know, Severin doesn't speak Finnish. I'm not sure if uh, Hushenbeth and Grimmer can understand what they're saying as well, but they are jabbering away, unconcerned about what people uh, might hear here. It's a nice advantage to have speaking a little secret language at a team event. Yeah. This one is very hard to, uh, to catch. Mm, mm, mm. It reminds me of that bit. Uh, have you seen the, the, the movie The Thing? Uh, yes. Very appropriate to be talking about it, seeing as we've yep. got things and ice here. At the beginning, the entire plot of the film is spoiled, if you can understand Norwegian. Oh, yeah? Because you know when they, they run across the Norwegians right at the beginning? Mm -hmm. and, and the Norwegians go, blah, 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 yelling at it. That's what Norwegian sounds like, almost certainly. Um... He, they're actually explaining the final sort of like quote unquote twist of the film in Norwegian. Okay. Nice little detail, I thought. Cool. But also, if you're bilingual, you speak Norwegian, you've got to watch it. You're like, oh, okay, well, I didn't, I don't need to. Cool. I've got the next hour and a half free now. But uh, these things are a little more obvious, a little less insidious than the things that were uh, kicking about down in Antarctica in that film. So, as you, can, uh, as you can hear, the players are uh, deep in discussion as to what the next move are. And this is, uh, this is a pretty typical situation in these team events. They do tend to run a bit slower. As a result, the, uh, the round time is up to 60 rather than 50 minutes because players just spend a lot of time chatting and figuring out exactly what they're... Oh, I say chatting. They're not, like, talking about yeah. what they got up to last weekend. Consulting. Yeah. Consulting, Raph. About fi talking about Finland, a lot of good players from Finland mm. in the history of Magic. Yeah, is that true? Yeah, Hall of Famer one. Who's that? Tommy Hovey, mm -hmm. first uh, 
Uh, double PT winner. Okay. Tommy Wellamies. Auntie Marlin. Okay. Yeah. All big names from... Big names from the back in the days, yeah. Back in the days. The good old days. Yeah. Auntie Marlin world champion in uh, 2007. Yeah. 2007, I think. Yeah. So, the action with Pispa, Severin, just hanging out, probably thinking about... Uh, I think Judge will uh, soon intervene in yeah, this... Uh, this is, taking a, this yeah. is taking a long time. It's been a very, very long term here, turn here. Cause there's, there's a lot of things to think of. Because, have you seen between the lands here, between the, the Mind Stone and uh, the Brit Runes? This is a Tomor script. Yep. That makes things... Also, I didn't think of that before, but Tomor script can also be used on, uh, on uh, Thorolf's graveyard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, 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 to prevent, to to prevent, prevent surgical extraction. A surgical yeah. extraction yeah. on the KCI. So Severin doing his opponent a little bit of a favor here, going and searching for those, uh, those extra copies of uh, Ancient Stirrings. He's trying to keep things moving along here. This art is a little disturbing. Yeah, it's not very nice, is it? Yeah, I, I, it's not I, I very don't. Nice. Yeah. Do you think a thir surgeon do, does that? What kind of surgeon? I mean, that, that is a, that's a very talented would you, would you, surgeon who would you, can do would that. Would you go to the hospital to do that? That is. I mean, the, I, the, the, my spine's a little hurt. Yeah. Little oh, we'll, we'll get that out. Yeah. Just get that out. Yeah. Oh, you've got you got some back trouble. Oh, just just rem the spine removing your spine. I think is probably going to be. Yeah, why the best. would you take the, the trouble to just do that? And the skull as well. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We'll just take take it out like nicely. Yeah, but I mean, what, what is this person? They're just, they're just no, a bag they're of... They're going to use it for... It's a bag of bones now. For some, something else. I don't know what's going on there. And also, why are they doing it in the middle of this field? Go to a hospital. <laughs> it's sure to be unsanitary. It's, pr it's probably not sterile. It's not, it's not a sterile environment. Yeah. What's the doctor doing there? Buddy licking KFC off his fingers before he's doing <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the surgery here? All right. So a now second surgical extraction now, going after the, uh, the chromatic sphere. So now he, uh, he gave up on the catching your KCI... Yeah. And uh, keeping you from... So, once from again, off. at a snail's pace, this game continues. Awoken Horror, Woken Up. This side should go up as well. And uh, all of the tokens blink, vanish in a puff of logic, and so the side returns to yeah, hand. Something you have to keep in mind as well. That's, that's, that might be just a detail, but it's very relevant when there's only two minutes left on the clock. And you're playing a deck like KCI, and you you have a lot of counters. Is that you can't touch your teammates' cards, and, or the counters, or anything. That's why that's what so, we saw earlier. So hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to we need to stop here because uh, the deck needs to be shuffled again. We uh, uh, Toffel was the last one to cut his own deck there, so was, yeah, they need to. Th we're getting this sorted out. So oh, yeah. Toffel just Toffel just yeah we we'll just cut it yeah okay so we need to we need to make sure that doesn't uh, nothing untoward comes of that that's all fine no worries easy game the game can continue yeah you can't touch the counters from your uh, from your teammate you yeah, can't you touch can't anything you yeah. can't you can't talk to your teammate but you cannot interact with the cards or whatever is on the on the battlefield yeah, you can't play the game for them effectively yeah, yeah. and that's you know this, these are little things that can put you off your game like your, your teammate goes oh you have to do this and he puts points at something on the battlefield yep. and you try to do it and that's, that's yeah, very yeah, confusing yeah, you can't have three people yeah. you, uh, the, too many chefs spoil the broth you need a nice you, know, you want a nice palatable bowl of broth you don't want everyone to sort of chuck an ingredients in it willy nilly it's the last thing you want the also, last thing you want although it might be tastier I mean, it might have more taste in it. Yeah, Whether well, that yeah, taste yeah, is actually yeah, the good, <laughs> like, as in more taste. <laughs> yeah, most taste. More, more taste, <laughs> not best it's taste. Tastes sear. Yeah, it has more taste. Yep. But right now, this one may be set to uh, to fizzle out here. Let's have a listen to what uh, what they're talking about. Perhaps I can translate a little bit. No. No, you cannot. No, they're, they're, they're arguing about where they want to go for dinner tonight. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Charles has uh, heard about this. He's saying, <laughs> what's he saying? <laughs> this, uh, this, uh, this restaurant. They the rest, yeah, no, a, lot of chef, a lot of chefs. That <laughs> There's a restaurant called a lot of chefs <laughs> that he wants to go to. <laughs> uh, and Grimm is saying, no, 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 I've heard their broth is very bad. So 
So as I said, it's uh, it's a two twenty clock once the the first thing in the ice is uh, transformed, and that is. Uh Something that that uh, Pisper should be able to do here, of course, with the with the huge number of instants and sorceries in his uh, in his deck, and that awoken horror, of course. Oh, that's actually it's it could be a, a, a three turn clock, a two turn clock. Like yeah. he might have another turn because well, he's going to gain one life from the yeah with the inventor's fair the, the fair yeah unless so he sacrifices it. All right, so it looks like Severin's going to sacrifice the Inventor's Fair in the end step. Go and get a KCI. There's one in hand already here for Severin. And you can see once the decision has been made, at lightning speed. And this has been a long, long turn cycle. I would say unacceptably long, but that is a, uh, you know, that's, that's a judgment call. That's, a, that's a, just an opinion. We're going to see the end of this game. It's turn one, but I doubt this is, this is going to end up in a draw. All right, well, let's see here now. Is it the spine as well? A spine of Ish Sa, yeah. yes. Seven mana destroy target permanent. How how flavorful would it be to uh, surgical extract the spine of Ish Sa? Yeah, that would be the best. Oh, it's such a shame we didn't get to see that. That would be an enormous flavor victory here. So, seven on 14. Didn't gain the life, of course, because that inventor's fair had already hit the bin. And now his first move of turn number one of extra turns might be to play a KCI Oi Dynamite. Oi. And to follow that up, what have we got to work with here? Looks like the Tormod's Crypt, Chromatic Star, Dark Still Citadel times two, Mox Opal, and of course Mindstone ready to chuck some mana the way of Severin here. The crack clan. Crark. Oh, it's actually Crark. Crark. Oh, yeah. I never yeah. thought, I never. It's much easier if you say it with an Australian accent because then you don't pronounce the second R. Crark. Crark. Crack Clan Ironworks, mate. Oh, I'm going to head down the Ironwork. Ironworks, go and make myself some mana. So they're Australian goblins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gee, bloody, bloody long day on the shift, demo. Yeah, that's right, Baz. Better get, head down the watering hole. So the Take a load off. So Mox Opal now going away to the Crack Clan Ironworks. That's going to be two, uh, two mana here for, for Tor Alf here, for old Sev. Another Mox Opal now as well. Another legendary artifact here for the German. See what he's going to do with it. He's got a nice full grip here, Raf. That... Uh, Puts him in good stead, but he still needs the pieces to come together here. And yeah, Lurie does not have much in hand now. He uh, he played his uh, extractions to uh, to transform his uh, things in the ice. Yeah. Or he's one thing, because the other one still needs to be transformed. And now he's left with one abrade, and one abrade is not going to be able to uh, interact much with uh, Soros combo. So with four mana in, uh, uh, available here for Pispa, be interesting to see what's in his hand and whether there is anything he can do here. I think that what the Germans are doing are, is trying to figure out how they can play around everything. Yeah. Because yeah. they have pretty much everything they need. And they just need to not mess it up. So two mana in pool. So do they play Psy first? They they play uh, Scrap Troller first. Mm -hmm. Playing against nothing. Playing against someone with no hand. Mm. That would probably be Psy first. Then another artifact. And then go off. Because then each artifact that you cast has a, a, an effective uh, two mana discount. Two mana discount, yeah. A little, little rebate. A little rebate, if you will. Here's Mox Opal. This, this says to me that it's going to be Psy here. Tapping the o Opal for blue. A two mana in pool, of course, here for Severin. A key turn. A key turn, you would say. He, they're playing around a braid, around counter spell, around double spells. Like if the Finns have two spells to, uh, to flip the second thing in the ice, that could be problematic, although not, not too bad. So it's going to be Scrap Trawler now. And uh, I don't know if you caught. Uh, I mean, is your how's your German? My German is pretty bad. It's so pretty schlecht. Sh 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 it's pretty schlecht. So I don't know if you heard what the <laughs> what they were talking about before. But one of the things that Toffel said, he goes, "Sub keine Ahnung, was hier gerade abgeht," right? Which means, 
I just don't know how what's going to happen. <laughs> I just have no idea how this is going to turn out. <laughs> so he's flying by the seat of his pants. Obviously not broadcasting strength. You know, you've got to broadcast dominance. And Toffel's not doing that if, uh, you know, if he's saying that sort of stuff. All right. So now a Brady's taking care of the scrap, tro scrap troller. There's going to be responses. And since Torolf has a buried ruins, mm. he can get the scrap troller back. Yep. Yep, so a lot of built-in redundancy here. And even if Tolton doesn't have any idea of how this is going to upgear. It doesn't seem like he's going to be in too much trouble here as Nick uh, or Wellspring comes back. He has a lot of mana available. Yeah. yeah. Brute Ruins. <laughs> <laughs> that is not how it works. I like how uh, how his teammates went. Whoa, 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 whoa yeah. This one you keep. Yeah, yeah. That's the the Brood ruin. <laughs> <laughs> so 100 million cards in hand here for Severin. One of Bray doesn't look like it's going to get the job done here for the Finns. Severin now. The rightful successor to uh, Iggs. Yes, yes. Eggs, eggs 2.0. Yeah. Ostrich eggs. Australian eggs, because the crack line is from Australia. Yeah, yeah. Aust Australian ostrich eggs. Emu eggs. Emu eggs. Vegemite wait, eggs. Yep. Vegemite, Vegemite and eggs on toast. So, buried ruins. Go and get back the scrap trawler. Does Pisma have a response to that? Has he got another? No, he has an arc. Uh, okay, there you go. Nothing, oh, nothing doing here. Pisma recognizes that the game is up. And Severin says, what did you have? Land and Arclight Phoenix. So, after a long, drawn-out process, ladies and gentlemen, we finally got there. Welcome you back to the booth here, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Riley Knight, joined by Raphael Levy. Thanks for your patience as we got through that long, hard slog there at the end. And uh, I'll tell you this. Tell me. A lot, uh, lot of moving parts. A lot of, lot of pieces of that part. Uh, as, uh, you know, to finally reach a conclusion. But ultimately, Raf, uh, KCI powering the, 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 the trio of uh, Huschenbet, Grimmer, and Zerin. So KCI is one of the, one of the decks mm. that teams wanted to play. Yep, so it seems. The, so it seems. The artifact deck they chose. Yep, and uh, maybe we'll have plenty more of that in the future. If you're, if you're very lucky, if you're good boys and girls, if you eat your vegetables, we might have more KCI in the future. We'll see how it goes. Right now, however, we're going to take a break. Stick with us on the other side of these ads. We'll be back live from Liverpool. Tim and Frank will be with you before too much longer to, to bring you coverage of the next round. So stick with us. We'll be back very soon. <laughs> 